In this video, I'd like to show you how to simplify expressions. In our first example, we have the expression 4x plus 2y plus 3x. Now, to simplify expressions means to write the expression in a more simple way, which is done by combining like terms. So, how do we know if terms are alike? Well, let's take a look at the coefficients of the terms 4x, 2y, and 3x. So, what is a coefficient? A coefficient is the number that is directly next to a variable, which means it is being multiplied by that variable. Now, like terms are combined by adding or subtracting coefficients of terms that have the same variable as well as the same exponent. Now, I'm going to draw a box around the first term in the expression 4x and combine it with the like terms in the expression. So what other terms in this expression has a coefficient with the variable x? That's right, 3x. So let's draw a box around that term as well. Now you'll notice that I also included the addition sign to the left of the term 3x. And this is to ensure that I carry out the correct operation between the like terms. So in this case, I will be adding. And 4x plus 3x equals 7x. So now that we've combined all of the terms that have the variable x, let's continue with the next term in the expression, which is 2y. And again, be sure to also include the operation to the left of the term. Now, since 2y is the only remaining term and there's nothing to combine it with, I'm going to bring the term along with the addition sign into the simplified expression. So now we have 7x plus 2y. And since both coefficients in this expression have different variables, these terms cannot be combined. So this means we've completed simplifying the expression. So 4x plus 2y plus 3x is equal to 7x plus 2y. Both expressions have the same value. We just took the original expression and simplified it. Okay, let's try another one. In this example, we have the variable c plus the variable c. Now, you'll notice that both terms do not have a coefficient. So this means that we don't have a number in front of the variables. So how can we combine terms without coefficients? Well, when a variable does not have a coefficient, this means that there is an unwritten number one in front of the variable. Now remember, when there's a number next to a variable, it means the number is being multiplied by that variable. So the reason you don't commonly see the number one next to a variable is because one multiplied by anything doesn't change the value. Since one multiplied by any number equals whatever that number is. But if you like, you can always feel free to write the number one in front of a variable that does not have a coefficient. So in this case, both of our terms are like terms since both of our terms have the variable C. So 1C plus 1C equals 2C. Okay, now let's take everything we just learned and try simplifying these expressions. Now, if you'd like to try simplifying these on your own first, feel free to pause the video and then press play when you've finished. So for number one, we have the expression 5x plus x plus 9x. Now, it's best to start with the very first term in the expression and then combine it with the like terms in the expression. Now, in this expression, we can see that all of the terms are like terms since they all have the variable x. So let's combine it with the very next term, plus x. Now remember, if there is no coefficient in front of the variable, that means there is an unwritten number one there. So 5x plus x equals 6x. And now that we've combined those like terms, let's combine the remaining like terms. 
6x plus 9x, which equals 15x. So the simplified expression is 15x, which is equal to the original expression. Now, for number two, we have the expression 7y plus 2 minus y minus 12. Now, I'm going to draw a box around the first term, 7y. So what term can I combine with 7y? That's right, minus y. And remember, when you identify like terms, it's best to draw a box around the term as well as the operation to the left of the term. In this case, that would be a subtraction sign. And 7y minus y equals 6y. So now let's continue with combining like terms starting with plus 2. Now this term does not have a variable. Now a term without a variable is called a constant. And since we're combining like terms, we can combine this constant with any other constant in the expression. And it just so happens that the remaining term in this expression is also a constant. So let's draw a box around that term as well. And positive two minus 12 equals negative 10. So the simplified expression is 6y minus 10, which is equal to the original expression. Next, in number three, we have the expression x plus 8y plus x plus 4y. Now let's draw a box around the first term x. And let's also draw a box around the other terms with the variable x. So now that we've collected all terms with the variable x, let's combine them. And x plus x equals 2x. So now let's continue with combining like terms. And as you can see, the remaining terms, 8y and 4y, are alike. So let's combine them. 8y plus 4y equals 12y. So now we've simplified the expression, which is equal to the original expression. OK, in our last problem, number 4, we have the expression 6x plus 7y minus 5x minus 8y minus x. So let's start with the first term, 6x. Now, what terms can we combine 6x with? That's right. We can combine 6x with minus 5x. And 6x minus 5x equals 1x. And remember, the number 1 is not commonly written in front of a variable since it's not necessary, since 1 multiplied by anything equals whatever that number is. So let's remove the number 1. Now, let's continue combining like terms. Now you'll notice there's one more term with the variable x in the expression, minus x. So let's combine that term with the term we just calculated. And x minus x equals 0. So that means all terms with the variable x in our expression have been completely removed from the expression. Now let's continue combining our remaining like terms, 7y and minus 8y. And positive 7y minus 8y equals negative 1y, or simply negative y. So the simplified expression is negative y, which is equal to the original expression. So this is how to simplify expressions. Mm -hmm.